as I go to make a turn, this leg, the left leg, I'm going to push it into the ground and extend it. Now the right leg, just pushing it into the ground, extending it. What my arms are doing or what my legs are doing. Some of them have been on the wrong side of the law. Some of them have probably had an upbringing, which is not ideal. Doesn't put them in the right place psychologically. Um, they're all people that have um, had troubles, have got troubles. Some of them are probably trying to get over them right now. Now the right leg, take it slowly. slowly. The vehicle of that challenge, what is skiing and the mountains as well, it's definitely the place to try and straighten those things out. Whoa! It's been a great experience. Obviously, I've seen it on TV shows. I remember watching James Bond go down the slope. I sort of had that sort of image. So it was like, it was something I really, really wanted to do once the idea came across. Yeah, that's good. So you're basically working one side, then the other. When you go to work it, tell me about the mechanics. What are you doing with the legs? I was brought up in a council housing estate in Hamilton Hempstead. You know, we, I was on the wrong side of the law a few times. Take your time. I never forget a summer when I was frog marched down the our local council housing estate when everyone's out in their gardens with the police when it was my mum's most embarrassing time of her life. Nice work, and again. And the funny awesome. thing is, I was that kid as well. I have got a short attention span. My patients are terrible. And uh, I need that, that drug of skiing, uh, the adrenaline buzz from skiing. I need that challenge to keep me sane. There's definitely parallels from what my upbringing was to what some of these guys are. And we're gonna let it burn. Test your plan and hop around on the leg. At first it's a bit falling there, falling there, getting a bit of injuries. But after a while you start learning to ski properly. And now I'm on the big stop and it's quite a lot of fun actually. So. Hey, that was awesome up there. Huh? That's the first time you tried that? Yeah. That's sick. I feel alive almost. I feel like I'm on fire. Well, not without the heat, but yeah, I generally feel great. <laughs> it's a really positive feeling like I feel. It sounds a bit cliche, but I feel a bit free. <laughs> There's going, to be, there's going to be all sorts going on during the course. I mean, there's going to be emotions. There'll be people crying because things didn't go right. There'll probably be someone fancying someone and falling in love with someone, a classic thing that happens in that type of house, you know. There'll be people that are totally against each other. Their personalities will clash to the point where there could even be fights and who knows what goes on. I'm going to like, you know, martial arts right now to protect myself. I've got a knife wound here and, and then there's like a... <laughs> Use your ankles, look down at your skis, keep an eye on what's going on. Well done! Not just the idea of developing their skiing, it's the life skills. Good effort! It's great man, it's just like, just do something more positive for my future. Just get out here and just ski, meet some new people, make some new friends. Like, it's good. As much as I love my whole life and that, you don't get many experiences like that. It's just something new. I would definitely, definitely be up for it. Wow, my dreams are like, are in the stages of becoming true and I'm really excited. The reason I want to do this is because I've been lucky enough to benefit from uh, a sport that has, has given me my, my salary, my career, um, something like a sense of well, you know, well-being but also self-purpose. It could change your whole life around. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be a boring old chap sitting at home anymore. You'd be lively. It gives you, yeah, it gives you quite a lot of stuff. Stuff like team building, um, even your self-esteem. Um, there's like being responsible, um, punctuality. You can't just go on a mountain and just sort of behave like a loon. You've got to be looking out for avalanches. You've got to be looking out for snow conditions. You've got to be looking out for other skiers. It will give someone. It will teach someone a lot about safety, a lot about responsibility. Even if we, we change the life of one or two of them, then in five years from now, we're looking at these guys as established skiers, working their academy, they're, they're earning a salary, living the dream of whatever a professional ski coach might be. That's really what would be in it for me.